Hello and welcome to Open Motors here in Wigan. Today I've got the absolute pleasure of showing you in this Jaguar E-Base D180 Aerodynamic S. It also is an automatic, so it's got the silky smooth automatic gearbox in this one and it also benefits from being all-wheel drive. But taking a closer look around them, with it being an Aerodynamic, you get the gloss black surrounding the front grille with the Aerodynamic badging. Front and rear parking sensors on this one with reversing camera and then you've got the Jaguar LED headlights. Coming down the driver's side and then it's fitted with some aftermarket wind deflectors and it is also riding on these lovely upgrade 21 in, uh, 20 inch sorry, 6 spoke alloy wheels and they're finished in a satin grey and diamond turn finish but again looking down the driver's side it's free from any major dents or scratches and again the alloys are in good order all round and coming through to the rear then you get your Jaguar badging and your E-Pace design and then with it being an air dynamic you get the sportier rear diffuser there with a twin pipe exhaust and like I said, the reversing camera is all the with the rear parking sensors. But popping our heads into the boot, it's a manual tailgate on this one. Parcel shelf is present, the one in the window and the one for the seats. But again, with it being an e-pace, you do get plenty of boot space. You get 60-40 to split folding rear seats. But again, taking a closer look at the top of the boot lid, it's free from any major scratches. And then looking under the boot floor, your tyre inflation kit is there, your towing eye and your locking wheel nut is present as well. And you also get extended storage there with the side netting. But coming down the passenger side again, it's free from any major scratches or dents. Looking down the panels, looking down the door edges, they're all in good order. And again, looking at the alloys, they're all in good condition all round. But jumping inside then, I'll quickly show you through to the rear first. So with this one, you get the Jaguar leather with the perforated centers and with the contrast white stitching. As a fix for your child seats and then obviously three seat belts so comfortable seating for free. And then looking at the backs of the seats, all the netting is in good order as well. You also get a, tw a 12 volt power outlet there for a charger. But really, really nice order throughout. Poking our heads now inside then. And the drivers again, condition wise, the bolster where you get mainly most of your worries all in good order. They're both electric front seats, so easy access for moving around. But then, condition wise, again, looking at the door card, that is all in good order as well. So, specification wise, then four electric windows with powerful mirrors, and then jumping inside before we do it, it comes with full Jaguar tailored uh, rubber mats. We'll quickly popping inside now again out of the weather. As we're doing the video today, the vehicle has only covered 43,992 miles. But again, specification wise, auto wipers and auto lights with front and rear fog lights. You've got voice command on this one and this controls all your centre screen as well. And then again, you've got your cruise and limit control on this side of the steering wheel as well. But again, going on to condition, the leather multifunction steering wheel is all in good order. It's no signs of heavy wear or any marks and it can cut bar rings or of such but again if we're running through and into the spec we'll run through to the multimedia section this is all the touchscreen radio so you've got full sat nav and then as we go through to the media you've got full DAB with all of the extended channels if we click on band there you go you've got FM, DAB, DAB and AM and then quickly for running, running through back to the home screen you've got Bluetooth for so full Bluetooth connectivity Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and then if we go on your seat section here, you can do it on the radio as well as the dial. So full heated seats for both driver and passenger. And then again, if we pop it into, we just tap this one quickly. We have got full park assist there, which I've just knocked off, sorry. But you do get front and rear park sensors on this one and reversing camera. As you can see, full 360 sensors. But if I do pop it back into park and go back to home, I'll quickly show you. If we quick, click this here. You've got all the parks you saw helping get out of spaces perpendicular parking and parallel parking and then quickly running through to the climate it's full dual zone digital climate so the passenger can have a different temperature to the driver heated front windscreen switch is perfect for the winter months and then again to control your seats you can just pop push this dial in and turn it like so and again quickly coming down here but you stop start on and off your traction control button and then your driving modes which is snow and gravel eco mode comfort mode and dynamic mode and like i said in terms of condition and where there's no signs of any major marks around here the gear sticks all in good order same with the silver trim and then all oh, the center area is in good order as well with a two usb power outlets in there and a 12 volt power outlet and then if we just pop that over that has your cup holders like so 
but as we're doing the video today, both keys are present. But no, a really nice looking car. I'm just going to stop with myself, we'll be going to the later on today. But any further questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call on 01942 231123. Our email is at sales at alphamotors.co.uk. And thanks for watching, and we look forward to your inquiry.